Is it on? Everybody, say hi, boo, peekaboo. Good job. Ah, let's get you out of here. Oh. Oops. Good morning. I'm a little early in case I had technical problems, which I did. <laughs> but it looks like I'm here. So, good early morning. <laughs> um, it's a lovely day out today. So um, I think what we can do is do a little, oh, it's almost time. So we can sing a hello song. Can we do that? We'll do it twice. Are you ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's do it one more time. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Yay! Good job. Let's wake up some of our bodies by saying parts of our bodies by singing about them. They're going to say hello to you, too. So, my head says hello my head says hello every time i shake my head my head says hello my shoulders say hello my shoulders say hello every time i see hello my shoulders say hello my elbow say hello my elbow say hello Every time I see my friends, my elbow says hello. My <gasps> knees slap hello. My knees slap hello. Every time I see my friends, my knees slap hello. My <gasps> toes tap hello. My toes tap hello. Every time I see my friends, my toes tap hello. My hands wave hello. My hands wave hello. Every time I see my friends, my hands wave hello. Good job. We haven't done the sausages lately, but let's go do that. There we go. At least we can see them. All right. How many sausages do we have? One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> He's jumping out of the pan. Three, four. Five. Five fat sausages frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 bam! Whoa! One, two, three, four. Four fat sausages frying in a pan. 
Sizzle, 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 bam! One, two, three. Three fat sausages frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 bam! Woo! Exploding. One, two. Two fat sausages frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 bam! Uh-oh. One fat sausage frying in a pan. Sizzle, 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 bam! Good job, you guys. Wow. I like that one. Okay. So, what are you wearing today? What are you wearing? I'm wearing a sweater and some pants and shoes. But some people might still be in their pajamas. I should have done that. <laughs> so we're going to talk about clothes today. And I have a great book. It's a little riddle and a little guessing book. It's wonderful. It's called Clothesline Clues to Jobs People Do by Andy Robert Davies, published by Charles Press. This is a press from probably England. It's a great book. Let's see if you can guess what jobs they do. Whoa. Nothing. <laughs> oh, there's the town. It looks like Wakefield. There we are. Except we don't have like a covered bridge there. Or is that a farm? We don't have a farm. But isn't that cool? There used to be farms here. It used to look just like that. Okay. Look at the clotheslines and see every clue. Who uses these things for the jobs they do? A big basket of clothes. Oh, look at this. Bet you can guess. A uniform and cap, an invite for you, a big bag of letters. What job does she do? What do you think she does? She carries letters. Hmm. <gasps> She's a mail carrier. Wow. Do you get the mail carriers to your house? They're always so nice. Look at the truck. She's got a truck. And who's on the mailbox? That kitty cat. I think we should keep our luck out for him. <gasps> Here's some other clothes. Look at this. A milk pail and straw hat, overalls in blue, a plaid shirt, bandana. What jobs does he do? Overall shirt, bandana, hat. That's a clue right there, right? He is a farmer. Wow. Look at all the chickens. Oh, look. The, ma the mail carrier is delivering the farmer mail. Do you see that cat anywhere? Do you see that cat? <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Is he like right there? in the car, right there in the truck. He's going everywhere. Here's some more. Oven mitts and an apron, a puffy hat and whisk. What does he do? Look at that. Hmm. Look at that funny little hat. Let's see. He's a chef. Wow. That is great. Oh, it's fun to cook. It's like it's so cool. Oh, look. Where's the letter carrier? She's delivering the chef mail, too. And where's that kitty cat? Oh, ooh, look at this on the line. A smock, a beret and brushes, paints of every hue, canvas and easel. What job does he do? <gasps> I think I know. I love to do this. He is an artist. Oh, wow. And is the mail carrier coming in? Yep. Hello, Mr. Artist. 
speedy delivery. <laughs> oh, look out the window. Can you see out the window? There's that rascally cat right there. Oh, wow, look at this. Let me get my hands out of this. There we are. Coveralls, a tool belt, work gloves and glue, safety glasses, saw. What job does she do? Hmm, tools. You must fix that or something. Oh, she works with wood. She's a carpenter. Look at that. That's fun to do. That's great. Look at all the tools she has. And look out the door. Can you see out the door? There's a there's a little birdhouse. There's the mail carrier delivering Miss Carpenter her mail. And who's with her? That orange cat. Let's see. Oh, look at this one. Heavy pants, a helmet, wide suspenders too, rescue coat, long hose, hose. What job does he do? Oh, we know this one. Look, she is a firefighter. Oh, wow. And look at the cat. Oh no, he's right by the water and all the hoses and everything. And Miss Mail Carrier is delivering the mail. Whoa. Space suit and jet pack, star charts to review, flight gloves and moon boots. What job does she do? Wow. I think I know. She is an astronaut. Wow. Look at all the other occupation people. They're all there. Look at the letter carrier, the artist, the farmer, the chef, and the little orange cat. Wow. <laughs> Launch party. These clothes are all clues to jobs people do. Is one of these jobs maybe just right for you? That would be fun doing any one of them, I think. Okay, let's see if we know our colors today. We have a little clothesline up here, right here. Whoops, I keep disappearing. I still need a cameraman person thing. Okay, so we have some t-shirts. What color is this t-shirt? What color is that? Hmm. Red. So, if you're wearing any red today, shake your head. <laughs> if you're wearing any red today, go ahead and shake your head. If you're wearing any red, go ahead and shake your head. If you're wearing any red, shake your head. <clears throat> hmm. What color is this one? Blue. If you're wearing blue today, tap your shoe. Boom, boom. If you're wearing blue today, tap your shoe. If you're wearing blue today, go ahead and tap your shoe. If you're wearing any blue, tap your shoe. Bump, bump. Whoa, can you see this color? What color is that? That's kind of, that is brown, brown. Hmm. If you're wearing brown today, turn around. If you're wearing brown today, turn around. If you're wearing brown today, go ahead and turn around. If you're wearing brown, turn around. Oh, sorry. Who's this one? Green. If you're wearing green, anybody wearing green today? If you're wearing green today, bow to the queen. If you're wearing green today, bow to the queen. If you're wearing green today, go ahead and bow to the queen. If you're wearing green today, bow to the queen. Dun, dun. <gasps> What's this one? Ooh. Yellow. Wow. Look at that. It's almost full. If you're wearing yellow today, shake like jello. If you're wearing yellow today, shake like jello. 
If you're wearing yellow today, go ahead and shake like a jello. If you're wearing yellow today, shake the like jello. So if you're wearing pink today, I think I'll put them right up here. If you're wearing pink today, give a wink. If you're wearing pink today, give a wink. I'll close your eyes. <laughs> if you're wearing pink today, go ahead and give a wink. If, you, <laughs> if you're wearing pink today, give a wink. Now, I have two colors left. <laughs> if you're wearing orange and purple, shout hooray, hooray! If you're wearing orange and purple, shout hooray, hooray! If you're wearing orange and purple, there are no rhymes for orange and purple. <laughs> if you're wearing orange and purple, shout hooray, hooray! Good job! Wow, look at all those colors and clothes. I think colors are just fun to play with. I love colors. Okay, I have another book that you're going to like, I think. Let's see. Polar Bear's Underwear. One of my favorite books. Hmm. Whoops, <laughs> I can't see and read it at the same time. Whoa, there we go. Polar Bear can't find his underwear. What's the matter? Asked the little mouse. Whoops, whoops, I'm totally discombobulated today. Here we go, there we go. I lost my underwear. Well, what kind of underwear do you have? I can't remember. Don't worry, Polar Bear. We'll look for it together. <laughs> Such a, I'm going to have to go back a little. There we go. We'll look for it together. Oh, Polar Bear's Underwear by Trupera Trupera. Look at this colorful stripey underwear. Wow. Is that your underwear, Polar Bear? No, this is not my underwear. Well, whose underwear is it? Hmm. Let's see. One, two, three. Wow! <laughs> it's Zebra's underwear, and it's his favorite pair. Wow. This pair has treats all over it. Is this your pair, Polar Bear, said Mouse? No. Well, then whose underwear is this? One, two, three, it's nom, 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 nom. It's Pig's underwear. <laughs> it matches his personality. Wow. Here's an itty bitty pair of underwear. Hmm, with flowers. Oh, it's cute, said Mouse. This pair looks small for you, Polar Bear. I agree. But whose pair is it? Whose underwear is this tiny pair of underwear? Let's see. Uh-oh, it's Butterfly's underwear. I never knew. Hmm. This underwear says, I love mice. This must be your pair, pol Polar Bear. No, this is not my underwear at all. Well, whose underwear is it? Hmm. I love mice. Hmm. Meow. Nope, it's cat's underwear. Run, quick! <laughs> he loves mice. Oh, wow, polka dot underwear with ruffles. This can't be your pair of polar bear. It isn't. Let's have a look. Who would be that beautiful pair of underwear? Oh, no! Look! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's Squid's underwear, and he has ten legs. Wow, ten, 10 holes in that underwear for him to put all those legs in. This, <laughs> this pair of carrot underwear is upside down. Ooh, is this your pair, polar bear? 
No way. I know how to wear my underwear right side up. But who would wear it upside down? One, two, three. <gasps> it's Bunny's underwear. Hmm. <laughs> and he kind of looks great with it on his head. Well, hmm. Hey, here's some white underwear. Who could that, whose could that be? Look closer, polar bear. <gasps> polar bear, you were wearing underwear all the time. Ooh, I forgot that I put on my white underwear today. Ooh. I had no idea I was wearing my underwear all along, Mouse. I'm glad that you found your pair, Polar Bear. Aww. Do you ever lose your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Not likely. Okay, we haven't done some scarf songs for a while, so let's get a scarf. I need a scarf. I think I'll use a red one. Okay, let's do some scarf things. Now, if you don't have a scarf, you can use your hands as usual. Get back a little bit. There we go. You can use your hands. You can use a cloth. You can use anything you want to wear. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's start with my favorite popcorn kernels. I love that one. So we're going to stir the pot of popcorn until it gets nice and hot, right? And then we're going to crumble this up and shake them, right, until they pop. Woo! You ready? Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, until they pop. Woo! Just try that again. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, until they pop! Wow! I love popcorn. Let's try one more. You can just follow my actions. We're going to wave our scarves up and down down and left and right and fast and slow and high and low. All right. Wave your scarf up and down, up and down, up and down. Wave your scarf up and down. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf left and right, left and right, left and right. Wave your scarf left and right. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf fast and slow. Fast and slow. Fast and slow. Wave your scarf fast and slow. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf high and low, high and low, high and low. Wave your scarf high and low. Wave your scarf. Wave your scarf round and round, round and round, round and round. Wave your scarf round and round. Wave good. Bye. Awesome. Good job. Okay. I have a flannel board story about two bears. Let's see if you can see this. This is one of the little bears right here. You can't see her, but she's like a panda bear. So you'll see the white parts. This is little bear getting dressed. I can do it all by myself. Here is my hat. Do I put it on like this? No. You put it on like this on your head. 
here's my shirt. Does it go on here? Huh? No. Where does this shirt go? Where? It goes through my arms and around my, over my head, like that. That's much better. Here are my pants. Do I put them on like this on my head? No, your pants go, your legs go in your pants and you pull them up to your waist. That's much better. And finally, here are my shoes. Do I put them on my hands like this? <laughs> no, you put them on where? Your feet. Very nice. She has a brother. All right, I can get dressed all by myself. Ready? I'm gonna do it really fast. Here is my shirt, I put it on like this. Here's my pants, I put it on like this. Here's my shoes, I put them on like this. And here's my hat, I'm gonna put it on my nose. Ta-da! <laughs> move that up, can't see. Oh my goodness, that's not the way, is it? No! Your hat goes on your head. Your pants, whoa! Your pants go, your legs go through your pants and over your waist. And your shirt goes with your arms through it over your head. And where do your shoes go? Right, on your feet. And your hat goes on your head. Phew! Now they're ready to play all day. Wow, that was confusing. I don't know about these guys. Wow. Okay. Let's see, how are we doing here with time? Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I have one more story, but it's really kind of funny. It says, animals should definitely not wear clothing. Look at this animal. What's that, a porcupine? Oh dear, look at a dress. Uh-oh. Animals should definitely not wear clothing, written by Judy and Ron Barrett by Aladdin Paperbacks. Ugh. Whoa, look at these words. Animals should definitely not wear clothing. <laughs> because, it would be a disaster for a porcupine. You can see. Whoa. Mm -mm. Because a camel might wear it on the wrong places. Look at, where's his hat? On his little humps. And your hat is on your head, usually. Unless you're being silly. Because a snake would lose it. He couldn't wear pants. He's too skinny to fit in pants. Animals should definitely not wear clothing because a mouse could get lost. Where is he? Oh my goodness, look at his little tail. His little tail right there. Oh my goodness. And because a sheep might find it really hot. <laughs> you know why? Because sheep have wool, right? They give wool and people make knitted clothing out of it. And so he already has a knitted outfit like clothing and now he's got one on top of it. So he's pretty hot with sheep fur and sheep clothing. Animals should definitely not wear clothing because it could be very messy for a pig. Look at that. It could be really messy for a pig. And because it might make <laughs> hard for a hen. Look, what's she doing? She's, <laughs> she's trying to lay her egg right in there. Look at that. And it wouldn't come out from a pair of pants, that's for sure. And because a kangaroo would find it very unnecessary to wear a coat with pockets, because why? Because why? Because she already has a pocket. And, 
And because a giraffe might look kind of silly. Don't you think he'd look silly with all those neckties? <laughs> and a coat, too. <laughs> and animals definitely should not wear clothing because a billy goat would just have it for lunch. Because it would all, their clothing would always be wet if you're a walrus. Why? Because he's by the ocean. <laughs> and because a moose could never manage it because of his antlers. Look at him. Look at those suspenders. And because possums might wear it upside down by mistake. <laughs> And most of all, because it just might be embarrassing for the poor animal. There we go. Definitely, animals should not wear clothing. Good job listening today. It's fun. Let's see. Where's my little parrot? Hey, hi. Were you listening all the time? Were you? Were you listening? I don't know. Do I have a battery thing for you? Oh, there you are. Hi. Hello. 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 You don't have any clothes. Have any clothes. No, I have clothes. You don't have clothes. You, don't have clothes. you have feathers. You have feathers. Yeah. You like feathers? You like feathers? I, do. I do. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, whoa. Whisper. Oh, you have a joke? Oh, you have a joke. I have a joke. Yep. You ready to tell him a joke? You ready to tell him a joke? It kind of has clothing in it. It has clothing in it. Okie dokie. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's another ghost one. Oh, it's another ghost okay. one. Okay. What, what? <laughs> what are ghosts? What are ghosts? Favorite pants. Favorite pants. Yeah. What are ghosts' favorite pants? What are ghosts' favorite pants? Boo jeans. Boo jeans. Boo jeans. Boo jeans. <laughs> Shall we sing goodbye? Shall we sing goodbye? Okay. Ready? Ready? Ready or not? Yeah. Here we come. <laughs> goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys. Have a great day, you guys. Oh, you're so cute.